In 2021, there was a blockchain that, that seemingly came out of nowhere that all of a sudden became the darling of the crypto market. And, and that was uh, a, a token on a blockchain called Luna, uh, what many of you now know as a Luna Classic. Uh, because interestingly enough, Luna has relaunched. I uh, haven't checked on them since the relaunch, but you know, Luna grew from like 25 cents, you can see here, a dollar, all the way up to $100, right? And I first learned about Luna at about $14. And at that time, uh, you know, I was, you know, deep into my course and my course students were looking for something to invest in. And um, I took a look at Luna and literally I'm like, this, something's not adding up. They're lying about all of their numbers. Nothing is making sense. They're lying about their TVL. They're lying about everything. And so even though, you know, this was going up, uh, you know, I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. One day the truth is going to come out. Well, you see what happened after that. Uh, despite the community, despite, you know, uh, different ones trying to get involved, Luna has not recovered. And for all those that say bull market, bull market, bull market, bull market does not matter if, you know, your token doesn't do anything, doesn't have any utility, things like that. Uh, and so far, that's what's been going on with Luna Classic. So, you know, what happened during this time, which was very surprising to me, was this caused so much uproar and put a sour taste in people's mouth that it affected all of crypto. It, it, I don't really understand why, because Bitcoin has nothing to do with Luna. BNB has nothing to do with Luna, right? But yet, you know, once this drop happened, there was like this, you know, thing like, oh, well, you know, crypto isn't safe. Uh, you know, we need to get out of here. So I'm going to sell everything, right? And we've recovered. Bitcoin hit all time highs. Uh, you know, BNB is up near its all time high. Uh, we've recovered. But yet I feel like we have not learned from our mistakes. And so the information that I'm getting ready to show you, first of all, this video is not monetized, okay? I don't make any money from YouTube anyway. Uh, I do know that when I've monetized my videos, I seem to get more views, but I'm not gonna monetize this video and you're gonna see why in a minute because the information that I'm getting ready to show you, like I always show you, is 100% factual. It is nothing but facts. But I'm gonna show you some stuff because I feel like I have to that is downright offensive, right? And, and I don't know that there's un, gonna be any uh, advertiser that's gonna, gonna advertise on the back of this. So I'm taking ads off. If you see ads, it's Google making ads off of this video, not me. And they do that anyway. Google makes money off of you whether you select monetization or not. A lot of people don't understand that, okay? So what are we gonna talk about? Right now, Solana is all the rage, right? If you look here on Deck Screener, they have it listed right now as the number one blockchain. Now, interestingly enough, since I did the Ethereum video, Ethereum is down like 10%, which is a lot for Ethereum and the transactions and everything else are down okay that's called a clue and in my opinion that's going to continue to happen as i said i believe the ethereum chain will die it really won't be a chain anymore it'll just be something for people to invest in you know things like that however the solution going forward cannot be solana it absolutely cannot be we cannot go down this slippery slope and I'm gonna share with you why. So right now, here is the number one meme coin 
right now on Solana. And I don't know where this thing started, but allegedly, according to this, well, when I started the video, uh, this was at a billion market cap. They must see me coming because now it's at 800, okay? But literally, you know, March 14th, this is four days, four days it goes from zero to a billion market cap. Uh, this ain't natural. I, I don't know what it's about it. You know, you got the Kramer, you got the clown. I'm not gonna click on the website. Uh, I love my computer too much, but you know, this is what's happening right now. And so what I want to sh share with you, as you see, volume is at 242 million within the last 24 hours is what they're saying. What I am getting ready to show you is that most of this volume is completely fake. OK, now you see this is happening. I've done this before. You see, this is happening right now in seconds. I have no way of knowing who these addresses uh, belong to and things like that. I'm going to click one of them. OK, so I just click. You see that a random address. So now let's take a look at this random address. This address has traded one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my goodness. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. More than 20, more than 30, more than 40, keep going, more than 50, more, more than 60. At what point are you willing to admit, hey, this is fake, this is a bot? This address, which is supposed to be a person, has traded what looks like hundreds of times within the past 12 hours, forget 24 hours. Hundreds of times, there is no good reason, even a jeet of jeets, there's no good reason for somebody to trade a token this often. And, and, and many of these transactions are not humanly possible. This isn't normal. You know why? Because this is a bot. And that was a random address, okay? I am telling you, 99% of these are doing the same thing. Let's see if we can pick a, another address. Here's another random. Can I get it before it changes? All right, random address. Okay, this one seems more real. Okay, but still a, a, a bunch. That one might be more real. Okay, let's see if we can do another one. It's moving so fast because they're fake. And there we have. What a, man, I must be the luckiest person in the world. How is it that I'm just clicking on random addresses and look at this and they're doing little penny nothing transactions every seven seconds, every five seconds. This is what Solana is doing to hype up their chain right now to drive this narrative that they're the number one chain. It's all fake. As I said before, Solana is the Brazilian butt lift blockchain. It's the BBL of blockchains. Everything you see is, is fake. It might look good with clothes on, but when you really break it down, it's all fake. So everything that you're going to see on here is fabricated. This is their blockchain. And they're going to tell you that, like, this is just wild when you see this stuff. They're going to tell you that they're doing, like, you know, 2,000 transactions per second. No, do you understand that that's more than Visa sometimes? They're not doing it. It's not that even that many people in crypto to be doing 2,600 transactions per second. And their blockchain cannot even handle that. But this is what they are reporting. Let me show you something else, which is a blatant lie. Now, watch this now. This is their own site. 
They're telling you right now that there's 572 million Solana in supply. Now, for those of you that don't know, Solana has an infinite supply. It, it doesn't stop. It's infinite, just like Luna. But yet, under total stake, they are saying that 370 million Solana is staked and that this stake is 99% of the total supply. You see here that the supply is 572. But they're saying 370 million is staked, 99%. Just to confirm this, we'll go over to CoinMarketCap. And you see CoinMarketCap is reporting the same thing that there's 572 total, 443 circulating, right? But, but yet Solana Scan is reporting that 99% of all Solana is staked. Let me show you again how that's fake. Go back to CoinMarketCap. There's been a lot of volume today in Solana. If damn near 100% of the Solana is staked, then how in the world are we getting 20% of the total supply of Solana being traded? How, when 100% of it is staked, how are we getting 18.7% of the supply being traded today? Okay, this is, this is just complete fabrication, right? And if you don't believe me, oh, I got some things to show you. I'm not done. But I want to show you this right quick. I thought this was interesting. I will have the link to this. I did not know this was here. This is not uh, why I did the video. But I found, found this doing my research. Here is somebody who was uh, tied to the original, original launch of Solana. Probably a VC or you know, some type of insider. And they have dedicated a website and they have receipts of the things that have gone on with Solana. Now, I'm just going to read a little bit of this. Solana lies, fraud, and dangerous trade-off. Now, watch this. Solana has sacrificed decentralization for security and scalability in its underlying design. Last year in 2022, the Solana blockchain went down at least nine times. It's gone down more than 20 times now as a consequence of their own design decisions. There are also many examples of lies and fraud that have plagued the project since its birth, exposing a clear and repeated pattern of bad behavior. Birth and fraud. Now, this, is, this guy is going to go on to say that uh, Solana team initially stated that the initial launch of Solana only had 8.2 million tokens, but in reality, it was above 20 million. And they have receipts from the group where you have uh, the developers in there saying there's only 8.2 million. And then uh, other people started asking questions and different things about that. Right. Please don't release any more tokens, so on and so forth. And they're telling people, no, there's no uh, more tokens. But a third party found an unlocked Solana wallet containing 13 million tokens. It was only once the Solana team was fully exposed to these lies that they decided to release a Medium article basically admitting to the fraud. He has the link to the, to the uh, Medium article. Then they're saying, oh, they gave the 13 million tokens to a so-called market maker which again, a market maker is just people that make up fake transactions. That's all it is, right? Um, you know, and long story short, they said they were going to get the tokens back from the market maker. They did not. The, the person or people or whatever kept those tokens. And, you know, that essentially made the supply go to above 20 million. As you can see now, as I said, that was 2022. We're, we're now at, uh, uh, according to Coin Market Cap, which again you can't believe this stuff because of Solana. Um, there's 443 million Solana. So 
even though that was 2022 when this happened, allegedly, I wasn't there. 2022, let's say you had 20 million tokens. That means you've had 20x, at least 20x inflation in two years. What, what month was this? Did they say that it was, I'm trying to see, it was April. Okay, April. So April 2020, excuse me. So that's when it launched. So still four years. You start you said you had eight million. You in reality you had 20 million. And now four years later, you have 400 million tokens. If I'm not mistaken, Solana has in, inflated more than a dollar. I don't think the dollar has inflated 20x. 20 in four years? I, I don't think so. the dollar might be close, but not 20x in four years. Are you and yet the price has gone from a dollar to now we're sitting at two hundred dollars. What do you smoke? Like this doesn't make any sense. Just on the inflation alone, this has to collapse. Now, if you believe I'm the only one to talk about the fake numbers, first of all, uh, I'm one of the first people to bring up the fake numbers. When I had a Twitter account, one of the things that I brought up was these fake transactions on Solana. Everybody, as usual, ignore me. Okay? But here's this guy. Faking usage numbers. There is a long and repeated history of deceptive practices around the figures used to evaluate cryptocurrencies such as TVL and transactions per second. Uh, by January 2021, it had been exposed that the TPS for Solana was massively inflated as Solana counts consist consensus coordination messages as if they are transactions. This caused an apparent 100x increase in TPS. Listen, guys, the blockchain that's doing the most real transactions is Binance, Binance Smart Chain. Nobody talks about it. They don't have any influencer, nothing like it's amazing to me how much people don't look at that. OK, they are the most used blockchain, period. Solana is lying to you about these numbers crypto has not yet reached the level of visa where we can have thousands and thousands of transactions per second i think binance might do like a hundred you know on like a good day a hundred transactions per second 120 you know maybe a little bit more no there is no use case that is requiring two thousand three thousand four thousand transactions per second it gets worse from here. At least it does for me. Now, I, I realize <clears throat> that some of you are not going to care about this next part. But I care. And what I say to you is we can't go forward in blockchain as long as this type of stuff that I'm getting ready to show you keeps happening. And this is the part. This, is, this, this next part is the reason why. Uh, I'm not going to be able to monetize this, this video, but I really don't care. Now, plain and simple, Solana has a history of racism. You see the word. I'm not going to say it. You see it. Look how many of these tokens are on the Solana blockchain. And they have volume they have volume this token here has 200,000 in volume that means that there's interest that means that there is people actually trading this 104,000 in buy volume 96,000 in sell volume. Now, I'm sure that a lot of this is fake. Let's click on this. And there you go. Well, then, no, this might be real. 
It's not, yeah, that might be real. Uh, but there's interest here. And there is a lot of these type of tokens. And it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. I feel bad showing this. I don't even want to show this. But I'm making a point. There's one here. This one here. Come on, man. Come on, man. Okay? Now, racism of any kind, there's no place for it. There's absolutely no place for it. But let me show you something. Somebody tried to make a racist token about these kind of people. And look, they got no traction. $603 market cap. Look, there is no volume. That's called a clue. That shows that there's favoritism within the blockchain. Well, they will allow racism of one type of people, but not allow it of another type of people. See, you could just chalk it up to people and say, oh, that's just people. People going to be racist. But the bottom line is, if you put something racist out, if, if you're racist and nobody else is racist, it's not going to go nowhere. It's going to die. Nobody's going to support you. But if you put something out there and you get support, that lets you know that other people think the way that these people think. And I've talked about this before. I am telling you that Sam Bakeman Freed is running Solana. And what is the correlation? When Sam Bankman Free had Blockfolio, they put on their home page one particular day all N words, please uh, remove your accounts, exit your accounts immediately, or you're going to lose all your money. That was on the home page of Blockfolio.com. Sam Bankman Free came out and said, Oh, we were hacked. How do you get hacked and somebody has the time to put that on, you know, the front end of your website? How? No, it wasn't a hack. It was either him or it was somebody that worked for him that had access. And you see this continuing with stuff. I mean, there are thousands of these. I'm not going to show all to you, but there are thousands of these types of tokens these are the people that are currently leading crypto these fools right here are the ones all of this fakeness these fake transactions fake transactions per second bad kind of tokens etc 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 they are the ones that are leading this and it is my fear that if they are allowed to lead, if everybody gets in bed with them, we're just we're, we're about to go down that lunar slippery slope again. Something's going to happen. The blockchain. Why would people be using this when the blockchain is broken 19 times? Like that's the first. Why, why would you why would you trust buying something on this? Do you understand that if they're not able to restart it the next time, that all your money is gone, everything is gone, everything you invested is gone, right? But sadly, that is where I feel like we are headed. So again, I don't even know if this video is going to get an opportunity to stay up. If you're able to record this, record this, because I'm telling you, there's going to come a time something is going to happen. We have to get this fake stuff out of crypto. And that's one of the reasons why I love Bitcoin so much. Right? It's the original blockchain. It hasn't been changed. Right? None of that is still going. It's decentralized. Right? This stuff right here obviously is centralized. And they're doing whatever they want and they're just printing money right now it's your boy bsg i'ma holla at y'all in the next video